okay? And acceleration, we already know, is meter per second squared. So once we cancel out the numerator and the denominator, we're left with kilograms. And kilograms is indeed the unit of mass. So that's how the unit analysis works out for solving for mass. Now for acceleration, we do the same thing. We got kilograms times meters per second squared. We just replace the N in Newtons with the other definition. And mass we know is in kilograms. So once we cancel out the numerator and denominator, we're left with meters per second squared, which is indeed the unit for acceleration. Okay, so that's how you break these problems apart. Now we're going to go ahead and do one practice problem just so that you all get some familiarity um, working with uh, working with these problems. I dropped my papers, so we're going to have to go through these, figure out which one we are on. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and do the second problem on the Newton second law section, okay? So we treat it just like a normal uh, word problem that we're trying to solve. Uh, a force of 14 newtons accelerates an object three meters per second squared. What is the object's mass? So we write down our knowns and unknowns. First, all the number, all the measurements in the equation, 14 newtons, three meters per second squared. And then we always, always write a question mark. I know a lot of you all don't write the question mark, perhaps out of pure laziness. But when you write the question mark, and attach it to a variable, that helps you know what you're looking for. Okay, so always, always do that. So, 14 newtons, we know newtons is a unit of force, so we can put F here. Three meters per second squared, meters per second squared is a unit of acceleration. And it says, what is the mass of the object? Mass is represented by the variable M. So now we have all our knowns and unknowns listed. Next, we choose an equation. So F equals MA. Now we know we're trying to get M by itself, so we can divide by A on both sides. Remember, we just went through this earlier in the video. So if you want to review that, go back to earlier in the video just to get clarity. So now we've got F divided by A equals M. So F divided by A is going to be 14 newtons divided by 3 meters per second squared. And that's going to equal M. Now we know again that newtons is equal to kilograms times meters per second squared. So let's put that in instead of uh, the M for newtons. All right, equals M. We know the meters per second squared cancels numerator and denominator. I'm left with the unit of kilograms, which is good because I know mass is supposed to be in the unit of kilograms. So 14 divided by 3 equals 4.67 kilograms. That's my final answer. All right. So thanks for watching. Again, just treat it like a normal word problem. Um, you know what the units are. Make sure to substitute in the definition for Newtons in order to work out the unit analysis. All right. Thanks for watching.